Welcome back to Tech Drill. In today's video, we are diving into one of the most exciting behavior of GitHub Copilot coding agent. Its ability to work independently on a separate side branch, even while the developer actively working on a feature branch. While you focus on your flow, Copilot can handle a parallel stream of work, whether it is updating documentation, writing tests, implementing backend logic, or responding to a review feedback, all without touching your current changes. A smart and scalable way to delegate development tasks to your AI teammate. Today's walkthrough shows how this works in real-world development using GitHub and Visual Studio Code. We are going to start with a main branch and based on an issue, we create a sub-branch called listing controller branch, which later merged to the main branch. As a developer, we are going to work on implementation of a listing controller API. This is a new API introduced as part of the existing APIs. Meantime, in the middle of our work, we hand over the Sogar based documentation, the API documentation to Copilot coding agent. Later, merge that branch or the PR created by the Copilot coding agent into our feature branch and review it, get it back to the main. So the time we complete the listing controller implementation or a single task, we in effect complete two different tasks. One is our API and the second is the API documentation for all APIs exist in our repository with the help of our AI teammate. Moving to our repository, we have a real estate API. This is our repository and we have an issue for implementing listing controller. This is a new controller we are going to add with a, some specific methods um, the api endpoints are captured as part of our acceptance criteria this captures the detailed task at hand instead of assigning this to copilot coding agent i'm going to work on this particular task as a developer by creating a branch for this particular issue let us name this as listing controller branch so for understanding it's a branch or something you can have your own naming convention i just provided this as our uh, branch name going ahead and creating the branch and we have the same project available in our local environment so all the existing apis are already available let us take the integrated terminal to get this particular branch here we don't need to remember all the git commands. Instead, I'm going to take the help of Copilot to help me to get the latest of this new branch. So command I to invoke the inline Copilot chat in the terminal and asking to get the branch. So I haven't given a detailed one, but Copilot understand this is what I need to do. So let me run this command. You can directly take the command to your terminal and execute it. Now I'm going to ask one more thing. Pull the latest changes from this branch. Switching to this branch. So I just switched to the controller branch now i can see the current branch as listing controller branch that's the place we are going to work and my inline chat is completed i have moved to the listing controller branch where i can start working on now as a developer i'm going to implement or get the details of this particular issue so just taking this one again i'm not going to use coding agents let us take the help of agent mode to implement our issue. So we are in the agent mode with the GPT-40 selected and specifying that implement the issue. 
under my real estate api project here agent mode is using the mcp configuration for fetching the issue details from the github you, we have already configured github mcp server agent use that mcp server to fetch the issue details now it's able to implement the controller defined as part of the issue as part of our real estate api the listing controller is under development right now and it's going to create a models the corresponding model got added as part of the models folder it's modified the property entities for including the listing as part of the property context copilot agent mode with the help of mcp server able to complete the implementation of our issue we just keeping that one and going ahead and pushing this changes into listing controller branch here we have taken again copilot support for generating the commit messages copilot generated the commit messages and just modifying the date 11th june 2025 and pushing the changes back to our listing controller branch now as a developer i'm going to do some changes but i have noticed that currently the apis are not supported any documentation so if i go ahead and run donet build let us run this project and our donet API is running on this particular port and if i am looking at swagger based documentation it's not there currently and there is no api documentation if i look at any of the controllers no specific documentation attached to it here we are going to use github copilot coding agent to document our api using swagger documentation Let us delegate the Swagger documentation of our API to GitHub Copilot coding agent. Start with the at the rate GitHub and asking to create a PR for implementing Swagger documentation for the API. Use the listing controller branch as the base branch. So from this particular branch, I am expecting Copilot coding agent will branch out and start a new PR for implementing my Swagger documentation in this API one. GitHub Copilot coding agent started the PR already, and let us move here here and it's uh, captured the implementation information. Let GitHub Copilot coding agent continue the implementation of Swagger documentation. Meantime, I am going to do some modification on my existing code so that we can see how we can merge the work from coding agent with the developer work. So instead of going here, I just modify something like "Hello from Copilot demo." so simple changes in the com controller in the com controller itself i will be going to add one more method add a new get method simply taking a welcome method the developer you can continue working on your code base meantime your coding agent will be completing the work on the site branch going back to our copilot coding agent pr you can observe that this particular pr is coming out of the listing controller branch copilot created a new pr out of listing controller branch and start working on that as a developer you can continue working on your implementation while your coding agent or the ai teammate continue working on the site branch this is the flow we started we started from an issue that is the listing controller implementation issue 
created a feature branch out of the main for implementing this particular issue. Later we cloned that feature branch into VS code and with the help of Copilot agent mode and GitHub MCP server, we have implemented the listing controller. That's the task implementation is completed. Once we complete it, we take in again Copilot support for generating a proper commit message and push this into the new feature branch. Later, we take in the support of Copilot coding agent to implement the Swagger documentation. So it started a new branch out of the feature branch that is a taskbar and coding agent currently working on this one. While Copilot coding agent is working on the task branch, we have taken Copilot code completion to complete a new method as part of our Chrome controller. Even we taken the Copilot inline chat in terminal support for identifying various Git commands for getting into the feature branch and um, getting the branch information. Copilot is still implementing it. We can see the view session and observe the progress. Copilot coding agent completed the implementation of Saugur documentation and it's uh, captured all the implementation information as part of the PR here. Now if you look at the file changed, it's uh, changed the controllers, models and the CS project as well. In the CS project, it's added the corresponding library requirements and in models, it's added the Swagger schema descriptions for each of the model fields and everything. And controller level, there was no documentation. It's added the proper documentation, which helps the Swagger based documentation. Now, let me just review it and approve the changes. I have approved the changes going back to the PR ready for review and go ahead and merge it simply merging this one with my feature branch now the feature branch have the listing controller implementation as well as the work from copilot coding agent that is the Sogar waste API documentation implementation let us pull the latest from the current branch. There is some local changes in the controller. So let me go ahead and commit these changes so that I can merge it properly. So just committing it and asking for pull it. And as I need to merge the things, so I'm just going to ask to rebase force indicating that I need to merge both the things. Let me again go ahead and pull the things. The merging is done. If you look at the current home controller, you have the documentation added by GitHub Copilot coding agent. At the same time, they have the changes done by the developer. He added a new method which is there and the documentation from the Copilot coding agent is also reflected here in all the controllers, the documentation reflected and even in the new models, the corresponding documentation is reflected. Now let us go ahead and move to the real estate API project folder and build it. The build is successful. Let us go ahead and run this project. We should have the new APIs, that is the listing controller API, as well as the Sogar documentation should be there. Yeah, great. So the work by the Copilot coding agent, that's the Sogar documentation enablement, it's integrated properly. Even the schemas are captured. Sogar documentation captured that information. With the help of Copilot agent mode and MCP, developer implemented the listing controller with all these specific endpoints or APIs. Let us go back to our scenario where we started from main, created a branch for listing controller where the developers are working. This is the feature branch and we asked Copilot coding agent to side branch from my current branch 
and work on a item. Corporate coding agent completed the Saga documentation implementation. We merged it back and tested now. It is working fine. We can merge it back to the main. We used multiple features of Copilot throughout this demo. We used the Copilot agent mode plus MCP. We used the Copilot commit message generation, coding agent for my site branch, and also code completion to complete one method. Got the support from Copilot inline chat for understanding Git commands. And now our feature branch have both implementation of my requirement that is a listing controller implementation as well as the socket documentation that is implementation from my AA teammate. That is how Copilot handles the side branch seamlessly without disturbing your workflow. In this demo, we showcased the collaboration of multiple Copilot features. Copilot agent mode to understand and follow the development of our listing controller, the commit message generator for generating meaningful consistent git history, and Copilot coding agent for working on a task in a side branch. We use the MCP integration to bring the issue details to GitHub Copilot chat and implement it. We use the code completion to complete some of the methods, use the terminal inline chat to gain and assist inline development decisions, especially the git commands. Together these features demonstrate how Copilot is not just an autocomplete tool, it is both as a pair programmer who supports your line by line flow and a peer programmer who can take the entire task independently. The result is a smooth collaboration, clean coding and faster feature delivery. Thanks for watching Tech Drill. Like, comment and subscribe to stay ahead with more AI powered development insights.